about you, think about the children, think about the babies, tell me are you with them, will them see them, think of all the people, the poor broken heart, well time to waste it, you know we gotta get started, and we need love, love. and love is all around.
clean yourself off.
some people think that America has invented the blues. And few people doubt that America is the home of the blues. Because the bluesicians have gone all over the world carrying the blues message and the world has snapped its fingers and tapped its feet right along with the blues folks. But the blues has always been totally American. As American as apple pie. As American as the blues. As American as apple pie. The question is why? Why should the blues be so at home here? Well, America provided the atmosphere. America provided the atmosphere for the blues and the blues was born. The blues was born on the American wilderness. The blues was born on the beaches where the slave ships docked. Born on the slave man's auction block. The blues was born and carried on the howling wind. The blues grew up a slave. The blues grew up as property. The blues grew up in Nat Turner visions. The blues grew up in Harriet Tubman courage. The blues grew up in small town deprivation. The blues grew up in big city isolation. The blues grew up in the nightmares of the white man. The blues grew up in the blues singing of Bessie and Billy and Ma. The blues grew up in Satchmo's horn, on Duke's piano, in Langston's poetry, on Robeson's baritone. The point is that the blues is grown. The blues is grown now, full grown, and you can trace the evolution of the blues on a parallel line with the evolution of this country. From Plymouth Rock to Acid Rock, from 13 states to Watergate, the blues is grown, but not the home. The blues is grown, but the country has not. The blues remembers everything the country forgot. It's a bicentennial year, and the blues is celebrating a birthday, and it's a bicentennial blues. America has got the blues and it's a bicentennial edition. The blues you might amuse you, but make no mistake, it's a bicentennial year. A year of hysterical importance. A year of historical importance. <laughs> Ripped off like donated moments from the past. 200 years ago this evening. 200 years ago last evening. And what about now? The blues is now. The blues has grown up and the country has not. The country has been ripped off. Ripped off like the Indians. Ripped off like jazz. Ripped off like nature. Ripped off like Christmas. Manhandled by media overkill. Goosed by aspiring vice presidents. Violated by commercial corporations. A bicentennial year. The year the symbol transformed into the B-U-Y centennial. Buy a car, buy a flag, buy a map. Until the public in mass has been bludgeoned into bicentennial submission or bicentennial suspicion. I fall into the latter category. It's a, a blues year, and America has got the blues. It's got the blues because of partial deification or partial accomplishments over partial periods of time. Halfway justice, halfway liberty, halfway equality. It's a half-ass year.
Russian sun. Who says we're the sun?